morning and welcome to the Southside Scoop. I'm McKenna Webster. And I'm Gavin Putoff. So McKenna, are you going to the game tonight? I just have to show up for that. Well, it is the last conference game of the season for our Southside girls. And Varsity will be playing right after JV at 5.30. Now on to senior news. Seniors are reminded to return all books and pay any outstanding fines before graduation. Graduates may receive their diploma after the ceremony in the auditorium lobby if all fines have been paid and all discipline obligations are complete. A posting of all outstanding financial obligations is available in the front office until Wednesday, May 21st, 2014 at 2 p.m. See Mrs. Holmes in the order in order for these business matters to be cleared prior to the night of commencement. Attention seniors, do you remember writing yourself a letter when you were a freshman? Stop by B101 during blocks three and four this week to pick up your senior letter to yourself. If Ms. Orlowski is teaching, please do not interrupt. Letters will be arranged alphabetically by your ninth grade tutorial teacher. All senior freshmen and mentors should drop off their yellow tank tag in B101 starting on Tuesday. All hang tags must be returned into Mrs. Orlowski by Friday morning in order to avoid being replaced on the fine list. Replacement tags are $20. As the senior class of 2014 walks out the doors for the last time, there's always also one teacher who won't be returning. Trey and I had a chance to catch up with Mr. Boning. Say cheese, said the modest Mr. Bob Boning as he takes photos of his Lady Panthers. I'm not a very good photographer. Uh, I take lots of pictures, but I'm not a very good photographer. I typically get pictures of all the things that are unimportant, and I'm cheering for the things that are really cool. Whether he likes it or not, Mr. Boning is a veteran in photography. His photos have been used in school yearbooks and on different websites. Here we had the online class, so we immediately created the uh, uh, idea of having pictures of our students on the website. After 14 years of pictures, 18 years of teaching, and 32 years of coaching, Bob Boning's magnificent legacy is coming to a close. I miss seeing students every day. That's probably my biggest fear about retiring is not being able to see students in the hallways and in the classroom every day. I'm not going to miss getting up every day at 5.30 and I'm not going to miss finishing most days by 7, 8 or 9 o'clock at night. So I'm pretty pleased with that idea to have a shorter day, but uh, students is truly what I'll miss the most about Park Hill South. As Mr. Boning moves on, his students and fellow staff will miss him all the same. I think what I'm going to miss most about Mr. Boning is how goofy he was. He could always put a smile on my face, just cracking some joke or doing something I think would be a little silly, but I'm going to miss the guy, you know? Uh, the biggest thing I always remember about Mr. Boning is just how reliable he is. Uh, he is a, a different team, different schedule the whole time, and he will get here and be at more varsity things sometimes than even my assistant coaches are at. Uh, and that's very helpful because there have been times when I've been tapped out kind of schedule-wise. Um, as last year, my wife had a little illness because uh, that's probably an understatement, but he was very supportive and he kind of told me several times, hey, you need to go home and I'll cover this stuff here, get out of here. So it's uh, been a great uh, assistant and uh, friend over the coach for the last eight years. Goodbye, Mr. Boney. Thanks for all you've done. Yeah. Thanks, Gavin and Trey. The seniors can look forward to Mr. Boning speaking at graduation. One student here at South may have a future after his high school days in av aviation because of his connection with his past. Addison Butler has more. We've all seen an airplane take off and land, but one freshman here at South knows just about everything there is to know about a select few that don't leave the ground. Lennon Carlson is involved with AHM, Kansas City's own airline history museum, where he volunteers his time to preserve and protect the historic aircraft housed there. My favorite plane in the museum is the Lockheed Constellation, uh, Star of America, Princess Connie, as we call her. Uh, she was built in 1958 and uh, was originally a cargo version of the 1049H uh, Constellation. The flagship of the whole operation, the Lockheed Constellation, is the very bird that first sparked Lennon's interest in aviation in the first place. Several years ago, my mother brought me down here for an event called uh, Santa Comes to Connie. They had all of the Star Wars characters down here, as well as a Santa Claus and uh, so Santa Claus was down here taking pictures with all the kids uh, to try to get more kids into the museum to see what we were all about. And so my mother dragged me down here on a Saturday morning and I just fell in love. And since that day, Lennon has been a key player in the museum's operations. Lennon is, is one of our longtime favorite volunteers. Um, 
I think he first came down here when he was only like 11 or 12 years old, and uh, he just uh, represents what he represents the importance of this museum because he has such a great attitude. Um, he probably has one of the best work ethics of all of our volunteers. Um, he takes a lot of these 50 and 60 year old guys and puts them to shame because he comes in and he just wants to go to work and he wants to learn and he's energetic. And uh, uh, again, that's why we do it. Lennon's future in aviation is bright as he plans to pursue a career in aerospace engineering, as well as one day taking charge of the very hangar where he got his start. For the Southside Scoop, I'm Addison Butler. Thanks, Addison. I'm sure we'll see Lennon flying high in the future. Debate elections for next year will be held today after school from 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. You must be present to run for office and to vote in the election. Happy birthdays today go out to Stella Garbaldi, William Graff, and Cody Land. Lunch menu for today is open-faced turkey sandwich, Southwest cheesy pizza, mini corn dogs, and the premium meals burrito bar. That's it for the Southside Scoop. I'm McKenna Webster. And I'm Gavin Kulaf.